Hello and welcome to my spooky house tour. Okay, I'm going in my kitchen. Hi everybody, welcome back. I am feeling the Halloween vibes right now and I just got a new pair of boots. Look how long my hair is getting. <gasps> I'm going to back up so you can see and do a yoga pose. I got these amazing boots. <laughs> Which yoga? Okay, which yoga? This yoga. I do have to say a lot of the things you're gonna see in this is the beginning of me decorating my home and every day is Halloween here. So the things that you see are staying up year round. <laughs> this is not just Halloween. Also, this is gonna be a spooky candle tour. Um, I always do candle reviews but I always open them and I haven't lit them yet. All of the candles you're gonna see me talk about, I have been burning, so I'm familiar with what they all smell like. Uh, I have a new Killstar hat. I have a new little choker. This is a new Killstar top with a matching skirt. And I got the Dawn boots that have the moon cut out of the heel. The platforms, love them. Let's look around. Let me give you the tour. So far, <laughs> keep in mind this whole place is a work in progress. And no, I didn't do any makeup because it's 11.05 at night and I'd rather be pale and look like this. When I do my makeup, it'll be impressive, but not tonight. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Let's look around. It's nightmare time. So um, first, this is my entryway. We do have to get a new front door, but there's my dogs and that's Count Burrito don't ask. My um, Day of the Dead sculpture that is actually a friend brought me from Mexico. He went to the actual Day of the Dead and brought me that back. That is the real thing. This is Zero. My husband found Zero skull out in our woods when we first moved here. He was just walking around the woods and boom, that was laying on the ground. And now he has a memorial place of honor in our home. And I got some of my Mrs. Meyers candles, all the fall ones down there. My big spooky branches that make great shadows my plants with my little pumpkin so that's the entryway going up the hallway bathroom um i love this bathroom so it's a black cabinet and i know you can't see it that well and i'm not gonna let you you can't see the whole thing right now okay i'll turn the light on looks better in the dark though candle in here is the vampire blood from Bath and Body Works. This is one of their Halloween candles. This is my first time lighting this one. It's pretty sweet. It's kind of like a berry kind of thing. Here is some of the stuff I just reviewed on my channel that I'm going to be trying. Yes, I don't just talk about it. It's there. The Pace de la Resistance is my new Killstar shower curtain with my little sleepy Baffy and Baffies and Baffies. Actually, let me I'm show you in the mirror. You'll see it better. So there it is. New spooky shower curtain. Oh, I also have the Vampire Blood soap from Bath and Body Works. I got the matching soaps to go with the candles. This is my wax burner, and this is the sugared leaves from Happy Wax. Oh my God, it smells so good. Just got it yesterday. Cool picture on my wall that my cousin gave me many, many years ago in the mid 90s, and I've treasured it ever since, and my cousin is no longer with me, so I really love this. Okay, so. That was my little bathroom. Going back up the hall. One of our favorite photos that another friend took who is no longer with us. It's a Siamese cat in a cemetery. My husband's best friend took this and his best friend is no longer with us. So a lot of the people who aren't with us, we remember through the art and gifts they gave us. My bar's over there. Front window, all my plants. Oh, you can't see the bats. Hold on, my ring light's here. So there's the bats in the front window. I haven't done the lights yet. I have purple lights for the front window. My Himalayan salt lamp. My ring light's in the way. There's our zero. He stays up year round. Pumpkin jars. Moving on to more candles here. This is a Goose Creek. This is called Guilty Pumpkin. Love it. Smells so good. It really smells like pumpkin. It just smells like Halloween and fall. Spiced pumpkin or spiced vanilla pumpkin is a homework that I got at Ulta last year and it is almost gone. Look at this. She's just about gone. I got this last year. I'm finally finishing it off. This is uh, hard to see. Haunted Nights from Bath and Body Works. It's all purple and black and I love the jar and there's a spider web on the top. I gotta say so far, I haven't burned it. I can't stand that smell, but I'm going to try it. It smells like, remember that Dracar Noir? Only they had the like copy body spray of it. That's what it smells like. Poison Cupcake, which I have burnt. And I reviewed this. It's a Goose Creek. This makes your whole house smell like you're making brownies. This is Graveyard Fog from Goose Creek. And this one I just started. I haven't burnt this one before. Let me smell it. Oh, 
Oh, I blew one out. Oh no. Wait, we have to relight it. I don't want it to burn like off kilter. Unicorn. This is my little tree. Of course, I have a Day of the Dead rooster. All my little ornaments. This is just the little tree. I do have to put the bat up on the top though. Here's our little bat. He needs to go up here. There's my dog that looks like little dude. More pumpkins. My moon. I have an earth light and a moon lamp over there. Here is my dining room table. I just did this arrangement. And these are all from Michael's Crafts. I'll go this way so you can see it against the white wall. There is dark purple in there, but I need like a pop of silver, I think. There's bats. There's all kinds of things. This candle, Ghoul Friend. It's hard to get in focus. There it is. Ghoul Friend. And this is from Bath and Body Works. And oh my God, that one smells so good. So, so, so good. Now these are all antlers that my husband and I found out in the woods behind our house. We go out scavenging in the spring for antlers. The deer drop their antlers and we find them and that's all of them. None of these are from deer that were hunted. We don't kill animals here. We are not those people. Uh, these were all found laying on the ground in our woods. Over here, usually don't have junk just laying on my table. These are roses that I dried. Talk about your goth kitchen. These are really dark red roses that my husband bought me for Valentine's Day this year. And I dried them and I'm going to be do, doing something crafty with them. So stay tuned for that. This is white sage that I grow in my backyard and I make my own smudge sticks. These are peonies from my backyard to make like a potpourri with. So yeah, just some little dried flower and plant things for crafts. Kitchen, you'll see that in a second. Let's start on this side. So I love this. This is a collectible Nightmare Before Christmas Bowl. It's got Happy Jack and Scared Jack around each side. I do have a candle in the top. My little devil, Day of the Dead guy. I love the way the candle makes a shadow on the wall. And this is a Peter's Haunted House, if you know Peter Mann. From, uh, he does with the Poor House, P-O-U-R, house candles. This is the strongest candle ever. Oh my God. Those are really good. They sell out really fast. So if they come up, grab them. I bought three. Just gave one to my niece. But I have I had three, now I have two because <laughs> they're so good. Going over here, we have the Goose Creek Finally Fall, which mm, I've been burning this one. I'm not as crazy about it. It it It's nice, but it has a men's cologne fragrance that not so much fall to me. Mm, it's, it's all right. I don't hate it. One of my little skeletons from Target. This is a collectible lamp that's Jack and Sally with zero on the top. What's really cool is these little pumpkins light up, but I don't want to start my sleeve on fire turning them on, but these light up. So I love that. Bought that for my husband years ago. This is my all cast iron cauldron that weighs a ton. Dried gourd flying monkeys. I have them, not afraid to use them. They're called Italian greyhounds. There's our Jack and Sally cookie jar. Okay, so let's see the kitchen. Oh, this is where the island's gonna go. You've seen this before, coffee maker. Hey, hey, my spirit animal. Coffee supplies. Not much going on over here, although I do have a really cool, oh, candy jar. Mortar and pestle that is white marble. Spooky cabinet, spooky cabinet, stove. And what have we here? My black crock pot because I'm going to be making vegetarian, well, vegan chili. There's another one of my wax burners. This is called Autumn Tea and it's by Flint Candle Company. Yes, as in Flint, Michigan. Oh, hold on. There we go. Flint, Michigan. And doesn't it look cool lighting up my wall? So there's that candle. That one is one of my new favorites. It really does have a tea, an herbal tea smell, but it smells like autumn as well. I don't know how they did that, but it's so good. My friend Angela got me the Day of the Dead wine bottle opener. I will give that up when you pry it out of my cold dead hands because I love it. I just got these in my FabFitFun. Told you they'd go with my kitchen. So here we have Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. That's also a Bath and Body Works. I got that before the Halloween stuff came out from all the um, cinnamon in it. It's really strong, but it's good. We're going to go up the wall. Oh, <gasps> what is this? What's this? What's this? They are Nightmare Before Christmas wood-burned bamboo spoons. I have to pull this one out because this is why I got this. So my husband wants to learn to cook, as I've said before. So I got him this for his birthday, which was Sunday. And it says, we're simply meant to be with Jack and Sally. There's one back here too that has Jack and Zero on it. So those are really cute. That was one of his birthday gifts. I also got him the, let me zoom back out, Black Erlenmeyer flask. If you know the X-Files, you'll get the significance of that. 
our little skull. I also bought my husband those in the past from an antique store. They're just, he's, he's very nerdy sciencey. So he likes all the cool like antique beakers and things. This one I just got at Michael's. It's just, it's just cute. We love stuff like that. Sweet Star is from Killstar. And these guys, guess what these are? These are salt and pepper shakers that I also got my husband for his birthday and he flipped out because he loves, obviously he loves ducks. He loves the little haunted duck. So yeah, they're a little salt and pepper shaker. And there's that guy and they have little things in the bottom. I still have to fill them. Unicorn bowl with some green apples in it. We have to go back. Okay, so right now this is my favorite candle, I think. I'm gonna put it up here so you can see it. This is from Malicious Women, who, if you've watched my channel before, you know I love this brand. Malicious Women Candle Company. This is called Kitchen Witch. Stirring up a little magic, infused with drying herbs. Haha, ha, you saw my table, right? Stirring clockwise and cooking with intention. Here's the lid. The scent is pumpkin, apple, and ginger. My love is like this candle. If you leave me unattended, I will burn your house down. Yeah, so I love this. I just ordered another one, but I ordered the Forest Witch candle because I am a Forest Witch. Oh my God, you know where I live. I'm a Forest Witch. Let me put this candle back. And my house smells so good. My hummingbird feeder is still up. I have one little lonely hummingbird still coming around. I'm a bit worried about her. It's a female that she doesn't know she's supposed to fly south. The last candle is... Candy bag from Goose Creek. This one, get this candle. Get candy bag from Goose Creek. It is so good. It's, um, trying to wave it over to me. It's like sweet without being overly sweet. It, it blends really nicely with the other candles, with those. It, and by the way, how cool is my light, are my lights? This was my husband's idea. He ordered the lights. He installed the lights. I'm going to back up so you can see the whole thing again. Oh, look at this kitchen. We just stand in here sometimes and say, I can't believe this is our kitchen. The only thing that's not done is my pendant light is not here yet. I do have it. And we haven't put the handles on any of the, uh, on any of the drawers or anything or the cabinets. And we have to redo. This is not going to be white. You know me. It's not staying white. This is going to be a dark black like a dark gray and black stained wood around the window so i have to do that continuing on here is my pour over coffee station and i even have my little scale pot and i have done a pour over in the past i've done a video of that there's my doggy bowls <laughs> this was a gift from my friend jeremy my skull spoons i love this little guy look at it Oh my god, little bat. And my Mako Neko kitty, who is the Day of the Dead one. And I just got a little sugar spoon that has a crystal in it. And my phone doesn't want it. There we go. My crystal sugar spoon, which I think is adorable. So I got that. This little tiny pottery thing is from an art fair back in Detroit at Center for Creative Studies, CCS in Detroit. I bought that in an art fair and I've always kept it. It's my little teacup. My Death Wish coffee collection. These are all limited edition. Death Wish coffee. World's Strongest Coffee container. Up here, I have my collection of cold brew, cold coffee cups. I myself am strange and usual. I'm Maria of Effin Sunshine and my goth milk. So those are all from Killstar as well. Because we're bougie, I have... <laughs> I'll talk about the, that wine some other time. Black champagne flutes. Those are actually black blown glass. And this is from Tiffany's. It was a gift. That's a Tiffany's um, New York pitcher from the Tiffany's in New York. Uh, this espresso pot was a gift. So yeah, that's the kitchen. Oh, and my hourglass. I'm kind of obsessed with hourglasses. This one goes for an hour. It is very much an hourglass. Okay, so this is it for my house for my kitchen. I'm going to back up. See, yes, I just look like this in my kitchen. Cooking away. And I hope you like the outfit. I hope you like the kitchen. This is the real me. This is the me that you're going to see a lot more in my videos only with makeup. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little mini tour, seeing a little bit of my humble abode and where I live. And maybe next time we'll do more and more Halloween decorations are coming too. This is what it looks like normally. <laughs>
<laughs> and then we'll have more Halloween decorations. Anyway, have a good night. And this has been your nightmare. Do you get the joke now? Nightmare with my name. I've been uploading only at night. <gasps> See what I did there. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned on the 25th. Again, I know I've been pounding this into your head, but the review I'm doing is great. The collab I'm doing is great. You're going to want to enter the giveaway. It is going to be spooky season, holiday, indie makeup themed, and look at this long hair I'm getting. It's finally growing. I love it. And uh, I'm almost to 400 subs. Let, let's get me there and we'll decide what hair color we're doing next. I have many fun shades to do. I'll see you in the next one. Pleasant dreams.